I'm Sam Jacob, and my presentation will focus on how design thinking has shaped the formation of the Undergraduate Podcast Lab course, my personal time in the class, and my own academic and career goals. To begin, I thought I'd go back to how this class was actually born and tell that story, um, and also how podcasting became more than just my morning walks to campus. Uh, the story of this class really starts with the BYU English Society. Uh, in the fall of 2017, I wanted to get involved with some more extracurriculars. And so I volunteered to work on the Society's podcast, which was called My Story. At the time, it was under the direction of Gideon Burton. Um, and our team, when we started this process, was a lot like the people who take this course, full of novices. Of course, not counting Dr. Burton. Um, as our team worked together on the podcast throughout that fall and winter semester, we began to wonder what else we could do with podcasting in the major. We decided to begin a separate podcast during that summer, the summer of 2018, called Podcast Anatomy, where we explored podcasting from rhetorical and professional angles, trying to discover and tap into the breadth of the podcasting medium. One really important element of this um, summer was its sandboxness. It's kind of risk-free and pressure-free experimentation where we felt free to simply think and explore podcasting in all of its um, nuances. But at the end of this summer, we really only had sound files and we had no home for them. But then we had the idea to create the Undergraduate Podcast Lab. We weren't really sure how this would go, but using the process of design thinking allowed us to create something really special, modeled after the many different podcasting media production companies that we had studied over the summer. Um, I've really been proud to be a part of this project and something in being a part of creating something so professional um, and exciting, not just in creating my own podcast, but using design thinking to create a real corporate business-like identity. The creation of this class through design thinking has become truly an invaluable part of my undergraduate education. However, I think my experience with UPL and all of the other under um, the podcasts that we've been creating in this class has made me realize the value of design thinking beyond this class, but how design thinking is influencing me personally. So, how has this really benefited me, Sam, this kind of weird looking person that you can see right here? <laughs> um, before this class, I never really saw podcasting as something that would really influence me or be a part of my mainstream education. Um, I'm an English major, and so I really wondered, how does design thinking relate to studying English literature? Um, we all know this, and I think most English majors would agree with the fact that we write a lot of papers. And even though I enjoy the process, I think a lot of us can feel a lot like this. <laughs> um, ideas sometimes are just hard to nail down and figure out what the best way is to write them, articulate them. Um, however, in engaging design thinking throughout this podcasting experience, I've really started to use this process in writing papers. Um, I've really started to see how the pragmatic and the creative elements of thinking and cognition are colliding in processes like creating a podcast or even writing a paper. Um, but even beyond education, this class has helped me think more about my future career. I plan on becoming an English professor, and I think some of us can romanticize be an English professor image in many one of these ways. Um, <laughs> but this podcasting experience for me has really helped me discover a love and fascination for the broader field of digital humanities which is a rapidly expanding and increasingly popular area of academia. This is becoming an even more attractive and popular um, specialty for graduate studies. Um, I've realized that academia, much like the podcasting world, is about fitting into niches and using design thinking to use what's popular and make a name for yourself. Podcasting is also an expanding element of a professor's work. More and more academics are using podcasts like these to share their, their and other people's scholarship and other publications. I plan on incorporating this into my future careers as well. To conclude, though, I really think that design thinking helps you anticipate, plan, and adapt to an uncertain and ever-evolving future. We may not know where we end up on the path of our, of our lives, um, or even, in more specifics, how a class like UPL could really factor into everything that we have going on. But design thinking really truly has shaped the way that I not only think day to day, but how I will continue to approach different uncertainties that will crop up in my life. Thank you.